Hi everyone, welcome back to Vermont Craft Tours. I'm Sarah. And I'm Rick. And today we're going to be tasting um, a holiday beer to go along with the holiday recipes that we've been giving you this week. So uh, Rick, what do you have for us? Today we'll be drinking our Spiced Solstice Porter. This uh, was brewed a couple of months back uh, right here in, on the, our property with the help of a friend, Neil Fitzgerald, who's part of our Homebrew Outreach and Preservation Society, a.k.a. Hops Homebrew Club. Great. Yeah. I hope you heard that sound. You can see the gases escaped. This is what's called bottle conditioning. So right before you put it into the bottle, you add just a little bit of a little sugar, and in this case, about two thirds of a cup of priming sugar, boiled in some water, add it into the bottling bucket, and then you, when you rack from the secondary to the bottling bucket, it gets it mixes in it enough so there's just a little bit of sugar in every single bottle for the yeast, whatever yeast is still there, to kind of carbonate it. So we yeah. carbonate that in the bottle, bottle conditioned. And uh, you were saying this is a little young, but we're um, sort of doing a pre-tasting so that we can uh, get to know this beer a little bit before we serve it at Thanksgiving. Correct. So we're about, I think, uh, just under three weeks, which would normally be, for most for most uh, home brews, about three weeks in a bottle is going to be uh, fine. Um, but this one was, in was expected to age a little bit more. Um, this, the spiced solstice, the spices refer to the vanilla bean, the cinnamon sticks, and a little bit of a pinch of nutmeg mm -hmm. that we used in the recipe. So that was put in at the end of the boil, so at the flame out. So right when you take the pot off of the, the heating source, you put in the vanilla, you put in the pinch of nutmeg, and you put in the cinnamon, and then you let that stay that just in the primary fermentation, and then you, using some sanitized tongs or something, you remove it mm -hmm. before you put it into the secondary. Right, so, this, so that spice flavor doesn't get too strong, right? Too exactly. Over, just enough. So it's got a nice vanilla nose, a mm -hmm. little bit of cinnamon, Yep. It's very close to a stout. It's a little bit more multi body than I would have said for a porter. Mm -hmm. but, um, and it's got that creamy head on it, too. Yeah, came like out it. pretty well. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it because um, I'm not a fan of nutmeg usually. I I'm really don't like eggnog at all. Sorry, eggnog fans. Um, so, and nutmeg just reminds me of that. It can be a little sweet and cloying. Mm -hmm. um, so a little I, goes I remember, a long way, as they say. Well, I remember uh, when you were developing the recipe, I was going allspice instead, and you were like, no, 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 nutmeg. So, but you're right; it doesn't come through too much. It just adds a little warmth, and uh, it's quite nice. Now, this recipe is on the website. Uh, it's a spiced solstice porter. Uh, as yeah. you'll see in the notes, it is a, a recipe from my friend Scott Russell, who is the Vermont homebrew guru. So, if you go to VT homebrewguru.com. There's some information mm -hmm. about him, and we'll put that in the liner notes uh, for the video. Yeah. Yeah. So cheers. Cheers, everyone. Make a uh, holiday beer, serve it at your holiday party, and uh, people will be very impressed with your skills. It's not too difficult. No. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the things, a party note I'll say about this is you have to, you brew beers for the season you want to drink them, not the season that you're brewing them. So it was warm and in the 80s and 90s when we were brewing this, but the idea is that we would have a winter warmer ready for the colder months and it is starting to get cold. We are mm -hmm. in the teens and below here now. So mm -hmm. cheers. Yeah, so cheers. Good. It was very good.